everyone, thank you for joining us again today. My name is AJ from Kinetic Collections. We'll be unboxing the Titano Charge Megazord from Power Rangers Dino Charge. Now this is one of the harder to find Megazords that is out right now. It is just before the middle of November. I do recall seeing this early on. I would say sometime late September, early October even. Um, I found that one at a Walmart and did not put the trigger on it. Fast forward to today, this was found at a Target locally. I know this one, you do need the Dino Charger Megazord and you do need Raptor and the Paris for all of this as well. And without further delay, let's dive in. That piece, weapon piece, neck, at the head, American Judenshi piece battery, or in this case, Dino Charger. How's your chance? Now that he's out, let's go ahead and do some transformation as well as compatibility with the other toys. Alright, so taking a look at this, we will go ahead and measure it out. 10 inches, just under 10 inches. Certainly a good height for a Megazord. Let's go ahead and put some weapons on him before we go ahead and turn him to the dinosaur mode. There it is. Right, that's the weapon. Stand on its own, does stand on its own. See the two handles there. Hold it like that. Hella wobbly. You can see there. I don't know if he can dual wield it. Okay, so this is good. The shoulders do rotate, which is not very common with some Megazords. Well, I'm having a hard time there. There you go. Dual wield. Looks extremely funky, but it's possible. This top peg really has to go in all the way for it to at least partially even get in at the bottom one. Let's get that undone so the plastic does not stay that way. It's no longer straight. Same thing with this one. Ooh, that's pretty bad. That's that weapon mode. Let's add the Dino Charge Megazord to this. Alright, so what we're going to make is the Dino Charge Ultra Zord. Get this set. Put this one in its Megazord mode. Well, that's our base. This is the Dino Charge Megazord helmet that we will not be using. Take the new head that came with the Dino Charge. Put it on that way. Tail. Oh, it goes on it. It is. Let's move this up a little bit. Add very nice backpack portion. I guess in this case it's the chest plate. This piece on as such. Almost finished. Now this one comes into play. Take the arms off. <sighs> off. This does take a bit of force, which that that's a great thing. I got the other arm off. One thing I'm gonna say: do not twist while pulling, because you will strip plastic piece here. So if you're gonna pull the arms off and body and the limbs off do not twist while pulling straight motion out very important when removing both legs you need to take them down and then pull them apart the reason is there is a male connector and a female connector otherwise if you try to pull it out this one here is going to snap remember rotate down then pull it off this will be used for later Just flip it down I'm gonna go upside down like this. It does not go any further than that. I'm gonna take this piece, line them up. That just got taller, it's like it's on skates now. Next, with the arms, fold them out. These are gonna hold the backpack, or is it the axe? It's gonna hold the axe that holds the backpack. Make sure you push the face under and snap it back on. Take the axe or the tail piece, the handle is facing you dinosaurs are facing you. Make sure to face these that way. If I'm standing. Take the torso portion, connect, that's that, and this together, as is, will become the back part. Perfect. Get it up and down. Grab some more friends. Parasaurolophus and the raptor. This is going to become your shoulder. So what do we do with this? Claw, in the neck, it goes in the hand there. The weapon just kind of hangs there, dangles there. It's only one point of contact with the ground. It's flimsy, it's floppy. This is in fact the Dino Charge Ultra Zord. Now for its final strike, final attack, we're going to go ahead and take the backpack, 
bring it forward and we will show you that right now. This is the one where, at least in Kyoryuger, it opens up and all the batteries shoot out. Let's take a look at that. Let's remove this part. I'm really getting worried for this. We're gonna take this section and detach it because it's gonna go up front. We're gonna go ahead and detach the weapon portion, the tail from the torso, remove the legs, both of them. This goes to the side, you don't need it in the final attack, final strike. Put the legs back on, take this head part off because it's going to be in the way. Take this garden rake, detach the raptor from it, put this off to the side, you will not need it. Film it and snap it back to when it used to look like a dinosaur. You're going to take this, take the neck and the head and you connect as such. That's the normal stance. Take a look at it compared to yours. All you're gonna do that's left. Flip this open. There it is. I am incredibly disappointed that this area did not have space for the chargers. Now, the reason why I say this is in the Japanese version of Titano Charge Megazord, which was Brachigas, you can fit all of the, the Spirit Geodenchi, the Guardian Geodenchi, here, and it would be nice as far as display goes and to hold it. Here in the American version, unfortunately, you can't. This would have been nice if you gave us some sounds if we couldn't put the batteries in there. And that is your Titano Charge Megazord and your Dino Charge Megazord combined for the Dino Charge Ultra Zord. Now that we have the bits and pieces of what was left of the Ultra Zord, we need to put it back in the dinosaur mode, simply because that's how I store all of my Dino Charge collectibles. So what we're going to do is actually a little bit easier from this point on. Let's go ahead and detach the head from the body. The legs are actually in the wrong place. Thin ones are in back. Thick ones are in the front. Put them in the right area. Again, do not twist while detaching straight motion out. There's a meth bot, other leg, make sure to push this back up. This portion, all the voltasaurs, the dinosaurs, this goes in the bottom. I thought this head went inside here, but it doesn't. Tail. I really like how they made the T connectors. That way it fortifies the movement and prevents it from snapping. Back. Possibly see two dark connectors right in between. There is your Brachiosaurus. Now in this mode, over 10 inches, about 10 and a half. A little shorter than the Megazord version. I'll get quick to the point. I'm really glad I got this not at regular price, and I'm really glad I found it. On eBay right now, a lot of these are about 55 and up. If you find it for less than 40, I would be incredibly surprised. Design aspects, the first thing we're gonna do as collectors here in America is compare it to Bandai of Japan. And it's certainly nowhere near in contention, size, playability, durability, and overall enjoyment of the toy actually. I would say the best thing about this collectible is that the arms actually move at the bicep. There's a rotational joint there. We do not have that with Dino Charge Megazord nor the Terra Charge Megazord. And Plesio is already limited in its own regard as well, at least in the arm motion and bicep rotation. I would say the worst aspect of the collectible, the misstep right here, where we could have had a place to store all the batteries. Why wasn't this utilized as space? I'll say that the next thing is that the gold accents, the crest on the head, the dino emblems, not the yellow teeth here, that can stay yellow because that's part of the logo, but the actual gold emblems could have been and should have been metallic, or at least pop out some more, get some pinstripe lining. Now before we wrap this up, I do want to go ahead and show what this thing does. All the Zords have a thing to do, that to do, so let's go ahead and do this one staying. Pop the mouth open, insert it. It'd be nice if this one made noise too, by the way Bandai. And some kind of missile gun weapon pops out. It doesn't fire anything, it looks like it's painted over. Didn't matter to me, they could have done something else. The materials and labor that they used to cut this out and slot this in and fit it, they could have made holes back here for that. If you agree with me, I would certainly like to hear it. Put it down in the comments below. 
Was leaving this area occupied a good idea, bad idea, or what did you want to see with this Megazord? With the Brachiosaurus, that does conclude our 10 Rangers as well as our 10 Zords. If you are following along with the Dino Supercharged show, the 10th Ranger was revealed and uh, we are wrapping up that series, that season, moving on to Ninja Steel early next year, 2017. Hope you enjoyed that unboxing review of the Titano Charger Megazord. Can't wait to display it along with the other Zords I have here. If you enjoyed that video, please give us a like below and don't forget to follow us on the team accounts. Instagram is Kinetic Collections, Twitter KNTC Collections, as well as our website kineticcollections.com. Keep in mind, every hashtag does get featured on our photography section of the website. Check us out daily and you can see your work along with several other collectors out there. Thanks for watching and we'll see you back here soon.